All right, we are here in beautiful Anaheim, California for the World Weightlifting Championships 2017. Uh, just had breakfast, gonna head to the convention center, uh, go to the Aleco tent, try to get a lift in. World record clean and jerk, I think I can deadlift it. Oh. Guys, I'm with Bjork Odin's daughter, a uh, games, CrossFit Games team, right? Team Individual ones. Individual ones. Team competitor for Team Nordic. Yeah. So um, you competed, what, what weight class did you compete in? Mine is 63, yesterday. 63 class. What did you, what were your numbers? Uh, I hit 85 and 109. Were they close to PR? Competition PRs. Um, I never started so high, so I took some big risks and I'm really proud of that. What was it like being on the world stage? It was pretty cool. Yeah. I was way more calm than I've ever been in a way looking competition. Because like I have nothing to lose, so I was just gonna right. go hard and I was more like enjoying it and just like in the moment being there. So what's your what do you um, have for the future? I know you got a competition coming up. Yeah, I'm going to Dubai next Tuesday. Stay there for two weeks and then the Dubai Championships. Okay. What's that all about? Um, I mean it's like the biggest CrossFit event of the year. Say. Really? I've always wanted to go, but always been like, oh, it's some injuries, it's slack, right. so it's ready for open, and you know, never really went. Yeah. But I always wanted to, and this is kind of my last season. Okay. So I'm gonna go all in. Which uh, this is you're gonna be your last season. Yeah, that's the plan. No, no more team, no more nothing. Uh, that, or just a break. I'm gonna have babies. So. Oh. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna take up my yeah. time. Yeah. 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 Being a mother is. Is a tough thing to do if you're a full-time crossfitter. Yeah, I know you gotta take a break. Yeah, <laughs> easy for the guys. Yeah, yeah. All right, Bjork, thank you so much for, uh, for coming on. Got it. Nice. Right, you guys are good. Nice to meet you. What's up, guys? I'm with Harrison Morris. He happened to, to be dropping by the Aleco tent. <laughs> uh, Harrison is a 77 kilo lifter. He's only 17 years old, right? 17. 17. Okay, I didn't want to mess that up. Uh, what are your What are your lifts? Your PRs in both lifts. So in training so far, I've hit a 156 snatch and a 195 clean jerk. But I've also doubled 150 and clean front squat jerk 194. Cool. Yeah. At 17, I was like learning what a bench press was. So. <laughs> Congratulations on that, man. Thank you. I wanted to ask you this. I've been wondering, how did you get your start into weightlifting? Like, where did it all start for you? Okay. okay. So I was a gymnast for four years. And my last year of gymnastics, Kevin Simons, my current weightlifting coach, was also my gymnastics coach. Right. And by four years, I was just kind of burnt out. You know, four hour days, five days a week. Right. At like 11 was pretty rough. Right. So is weightlifting a breeze for you compared to training? Comparatively, yeah. Yeah. It was, it was real nice to switch. But I switched from gymnastics into actually CrossFit for about two weeks. Found out I was really strong and really like, you know, explosive, quick twitch kind of thing. But we didn't really know about weightlifting at that point, so we transitioned to powerlifting. 
Right. And we did powerlifting for a year, and I got all the way to the nationals. We set national records and won nationals for my age and weight. I had no idea about that. And then we got done with that, and it's like, all right, kind of, we kind of hit the ceiling for what I was going to do at 12. So we transitioned into weightlifting, and Kevin and I learned weightlifting together. Okay, yeah. very cool. So it's kind of a process with you and your coach just getting better together? It was, yeah. Kevin was always like a couple steps ahead of me, but we were really learning together. It's really taken my entire lifting career to refine his coaching, his program, to what it is now. Yeah, I really like that. I mean, I think that's a really cool approach. Not having like a hardened veteran coach, mm -hmm. rather someone who's trying to learn and get better. Yeah, it lets him keep his mind open to trying new things. Yeah. It's not, he's not so regimented in what he believes works. He's willing to, to branch out a little bit. So, I feel like a lot of the American team, especially the, the youth, got their start in CrossFit. Do you think CrossFit's kind of a beneficial thing uh, just to expose people to barbells, or what are your thoughts on Oh, this? yeah, of course. I mean, you get some CrossFitters that have been doing CrossFit, you know, maybe, maybe new, or maybe they've been in it for a while, but they figure out that weightlifting is, you know, what they want to do, their niche. They really right. like enjoying strength things. And they'll switch, and I think with like, you know, the CrossFit liftoff that was, we were yeah. actually just yeah. there yesterday. That's really given CrossFitters uh, the opportunity to show their weightlifting chops and maybe right. switch over it. It's good for weightlifting that way. You get some people, and it's, CrossFit's really, and the liftoff is really like weightlifting itself right. become more popular again. All right, man. Hey, uh, best of luck to you tomorrow, Thank you. right? Yeah, tomorrow yeah. at noon, yeah. What are you, what are you looking to get? I mean, maybe uh, you can keep it if you're not comfortable telling <laughs> us, sir. No, 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 it's cool. I mean, ideally, the world record snatch is 160. So yeah. I'd like to take a shot at 61, which I think is feasible. I mean, yeah. 56, but these are all, like, best day possible. Right, right. I mean, 61, 200 would be my, like, Woo! ideal day. That would 61, be... 61, 200. Yeah, if everything falls into place, if everything's feeling good, yeah. that's where I'd like to. So if there's one thing I should tell people watching is to... Uh, go back to when you're 10 years old and start or at eight years old and start doing gymnastics. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a that's a good piece of advice. Uh, Harrison, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. No problem. Yeah, good luck tomorrow. Thank All you. Right?